In this short video clip, I'll show you how you can use SharePoint and Yammer to, uh, to create a classified that can be surfaced on your company intranet. On my modern intranet, you'll see that I added the Yammer group on the right hand side. So this is Yammer conversations that I've added and I've pointed to my classifieds group that I created. So let's take a look at Yammer. In Yammer, I've created a group that the whole company can see. And um, in this group, when people post conversations, um, I've asked them to use specific hashtags. So for rent, wanted, for sale, and to swap. And you'll see how I use those on the pages. So people can post here and say that they've got something that they want to sell or they've got something that they want to swap. So here, for example, Brom wants to sell his uh, suitcase because apparently I don't take him on trips anymore. That's just quite sad. What I then did on my intranet is, uh, apart from adding a link to the, um, to the main classifieds page, which I'll show you now, I've added the conversations. And if I go to that classifieds page, I've built a side page on which I've surfaced that specific Yammer group, so classifieds. I've also added some extra um, text and video web parts to give guidelines for people to use this application in the company. So some rules and support um, that they have to... Uh, stick to the company guidelines. Of course, I just made a joke there about illegal substances. I would never do that. I've even added the little video if someone's completely new to Yammer and they're not sure how it works just to show them how to actually post conversations. I've also added some notes on how to respond to ads and even how to search for specific ads based on the hashtag that we use. And then I've also added a Microsoft form to ask feedback on whether people like the um, classifieds application and if they have any suggestions for us. Now on this page, as mentioned, I've added the Yammer group, but I've also added some extra um, Yammer web parts, which are then filtered to show these specific hashtags. And it's the same as the Yammer um, that I have at the top, but let me show you how that works. So when you look at this specific uh, Yammer group, and this web part that I've added. So let's just take a look at the settings. On the right hand side, you'll see that I pointed to the group and I added classifieds and I'm just showing four conversations at the moment. But then because I've asked people to use hashtags in their posts, I can actually surface them as topics. So if you look at these, this specific one that I added again, I didn't say group, I added topic and I then just searched for the topic. Um, the same as to swap, the same as wanted, and even the same as for rent. I do have to say that when you do search for a topic, you have to search without the hashtag or you won't find it. So if I had to search for rent there, you'll see that I can find the topic. But if I search for hashtag for rent, I actually don't find it. So remember that when you search for the topic, search for it without the hashtag. There we go. And I then just renamed the web part. So at the top, I just typed the text there to say that this is the for sale post, this is to swap, this is wanted, and this is for rent. And again, I'm just showing um, four conversations. So that's quite a nice way is to use hashtags and it then actually creates automatic topics on the post um, to be able to search for specific things that the people want. The nice thing is, is that if you add this um, on a SharePoint page, people don't have to navigate all the way to Yammer. They can actually just interact with um, with it right here on the SharePoint page. So there I can go and post um, an item right here and say, I would like to sell, to sell so and so, oh, my spelling. Um, the following, and um, I am gonna use the hashtag so that it picks it up as a topic. So that's quite an easy way to actually um, get this to work well and then of course don't forget that Yammer is available on mobile. Take a look at how I can surface um, the Yammer posts on my mobile and access it. So here you can see the different Yammer groups that I am following and it's very very easy to engage right there on my mobile device. Well I hope that that helped you a lot and, uh, and that you enjoy building these cool little apps for your SharePoint intranet um, with using Yammer.